that ring true. So characters that that hit comedically tend to be characters that you feel like you know already. So for instance, I do a character named Wendell, who you, you can't really pinpoint exactly where you know him, but you know like you've met like 30 in your life. And he's like, you know, he's a uh, big uh, comic book nerd with long hair, and he uh, fantasizes that he's a ladies' man when, you know, in fact, he's not. Where's your um, inspiration come for creating characters? Like, just people you meet in real life, or you guys throw around crazy ideas and put them together? Or? You know, I mean, uh, Keegan and I work a little differently in that. Mm -hmm. Keegan uses people that he knows. He the, and he'll he'll embody this this, this person. I uh, I will tend to may, maybe write a sketch first, and uh, then sort of fill in what the, what's the funniest person to do this sketch. And then we both part of the process we both share is which of course a screenwriter does not get to go here um, unless they're really innovative. Is you know we get to put on the wardrobe and experiment with the wigs and stuff. And so when when that part happens, a whole third of the character comes to life that maybe we didn't uh, expect. Awesome. Like Wendell's, Wendell's voice was completely at the end yeah. when I saw the thing. Yeah, yeah.